fire on the mountain, run, run, run. Husband caught his wife on bed, actually not any bed, on their matrimonial bed with another man. Come on in, let us just let us dissect and analyze. Hello, just lovers. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we have a trending and a juicy gist all right if you're seeing my face for the first time you're welcome to my youtube channel if you love contents like this please do subscribe like and share okay okay so we have a juicy gist for today are you ready to hear it all right let's get into it <laughs> i'm smiling because it's so juicy all right so welcome to the segment a new segment of life experience so today we're talking about a lady that cheated on her husband and right now she's confused so she decided to write her story and send it to a blogger so the blogger can put it out there because she needs advice she's asking people out there what should she do what do you people think you should do so don't forget to leave a comment below what you think she should do what's your opinion what is your take what do you think about this whole story that we're about to get into right now are you ready okay so let's go so this story was shared first by linda ikeji's blog so shout out to you linda ikeji she's a nigerian blogger a lot of people know it should in case you do not know who linda ikeji is she's a nigerian blogger She's always bringing out the latest stories and, you know, trending gist and a lot of uh, hot topics and stuff that interests people. Okay, so she shared this story first. So I will read from what the lady sent to her that she posted. Okay, so let's get into it. Are you ready? <laughs> All right, so it's, the lady started by saying, please hide my name. My husband found me in bed with another man in our bedroom. Whoa. He just didn't find them in bed, but in their bedroom. This is getting juicy. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> I expected him to shoot both of us right there, but he didn't. He nicely asked... He nicely asked... Oh, she, oh, he didn't. He nicely asked my side guy to get dressed and leave. I was shaking to the toe at the moment. He told me to go take a shower. I tried to apologize, but... Sorry, the right tops are so small. I tried to apologize, but he told me he didn't want to talk about it because there was nothing he can do to reverse what happened. That was the last time we spoke about it. Ever since, ever since that day, he has been nice to me. He buys, he buys me, um, sorry, ever since that day, he has been nice to me. He buys me flowers and takes me out at least twice a week. Hmm. Just last week, he took me shopping and spent... 44,000 R, I don't know what currency is that, so 44,000 rounds or 44,000 rounds, I don't know. He's busy organizing a vacation, hmm, he's busy organizing a vacation for us overseas before Christmas. My husband is doing everything I want from my man. Here is my problem. What he saw last month is eating me every day, especially since he doesn't want to talk about it. I'm even losing weight. I expected him to chase me away, punish me, or call a family meeting to report me. He's doing the opposite. I feel like he's planning to do something bad to me. Sometimes I open my eyes at night and find him looking at me. Hmm. When I asked, when I asked, he says he's admiring my beauty and thanking God for blessing him with a flame of a woman. I'm with a flame of a woman. I'm thinking he's 
planning to oh, okay she made a mistake here i'm thinking he's planning to do something to me when we are overseas am i being unnecessarily paranoid should i be worried so sorry i guess that was very long but <laughs> So this is her question she's asking, should she still go on this vacation that her husband has planned overseas? She feels like he might kill her over there and come back without her. She's not sure because she was expecting him to explode. Of course, I, I think I think that's the first the first thing in everyone's mind is if your partner, be it the woman or the man, will catch you in bed with another person person of course they will be angry but for him to calmly tell the guy to dress up and leave and tell you to go into the bathroom and take a shower and really the lady really messed up because one you wanted to cheat it you you, you wanted to cheat as said cheated you wanted to cheat on your partner you just didn't go out to get a hotel or go to the guy's house. You brought this guy to your own house. Not only to your own house, you could have used any other room in the house. You decided to use your matrimonial bed. That's like a double disrespect to your partner. I do not care how you see it. I do not care how honey you were. You could have thought that it doesn't matter you said because he traveled you were not expecting him even if you were expecting him that day or not bringing a man to your matrimonial bed is just wrong on all level first of all cheating is wrong on all level and then to top it up you brought the man to your own house so yes it's fine for you to be paranoid it's fine for you to be upset it's fine for you to be disturbed because right now you're not sure what he's going to do and really silence sometimes is sometimes is actually worse than words because it is so scary. You are not sure of what will happen the next minute. And for me, the part that scares me is the part that you said, the lady said, that she wakes up in the night and sees him looking at her. Who knows what he's thinking? Should I strangle her? Should I place a pillow over her head and suffocate her? So many things that he could be thinking about. I think you should go and report yourself to your family or to his family or call the family missing. Report yourself so you people can talk about this. That is one. Or two, kindly pack your things and leave the house until he's ready to talk about it and you people talk about it, cry together and he forgives you. Or else girl you are on your own anyways this is the end of the story welcome to life experience leave me a comment below let me know what you think about this lady's story since she's asking for people's opinion out there so i thought i should share it here on youtube with you people so you can you know chime in and say your opinion what you think so don't forget to comment to comment just don't watch this video and move on like share and comments leave us a comment let's see if someone can learn one or two things from this all right guys so for now i'm out all right till next time when i have a juicy topic to share with you on life experience stay tuned because you will be entertained all right i'm out